Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlain. Today I want to talk about seven mistakes that new YouTubers make. And I'm going to give you each mistake using one word. So if you're taking notes, just write down that one word and check and see if this is a mistake that you're making. I know many of these are mistakes that I made. And if I can help you save some time by not making the same mistakes, then it's a win-win, right? All right, number one, I want to talk about intro. I know when I was a new YouTuber, I kept feeling like I had to go out and create this little 30 second intro with real cool music and, you know, upbeat and all these fancy quick uh, images of myself, right? And um, you've seen them. There's some really neat ones out there. And I really got hung up on that thinking that I had to have that. Now, are those bad? I don't know. Are they good? I don't know. I just know that some YouTubers use them and some people don't. So my advice to you is if you're not in a uh, place where you know how to use uh, editing tools where you can create all of that, then don't get hung up on it. Now, during your journey, if down the road, you really get comfortable with making YouTube videos and you really get good at editing and you want to add a 30 second intro, by all means do that. My point is don't get hung up on feeling like you have to have it. As you can see, I do not. I am not a fancy um, editor and have all these fancy different things on my videos because my philosophy is to keep things simple and direct, no fluff. All right, so that's just me. Now, where I work on my intro is anytime you open up any of my videos, you're going to know right away what I'm talking about. So my intro is telling you what we're talking about. So make sure you're very clear, introduce yourself and very quickly be very clear about what the video is about. So those are intro, decide how your intro is going to be and make sure you're clear about what is on your video when somebody clicks it and they start watching. Okay. So let's go to number two. The word is branding. Oh, that's another one that you can get lost in. Like I can't start, I don't have a logo, I don't know what colors I want, I don't know what I'm gonna wear, I don't know. I mean, there's so many things that go into branding and I'm not saying branding is a bad thing. What is bad about branding and the mistake that you can make is you get so hung up in it that you forget about what you're doing. You're making videos, you're creating a channel. It's not going to be perfect in the beginning. If you're having trouble making those decisions, then put it on the back burner. Say, you know what? I don't know what colors I want. I don't know how I want it to pop. I don't know what font I want to use and all those different things. It's okay. I have watched and followed other YouTubers and I've watched them change their mind and it doesn't make me think any less of them. And it actually, actually, I have a couple I've been watching that have really grown. Their subscribers have just taken off and they've made some changes and I'm like, wow, I love what they're doing. And it just, it helps inspire me to say, maybe that's an area that I need to change. You're going to see me grow. You're going to see me make better decisions and, and really, um, fall into who I am and what my branding is, but it all happens over time. I watched a video by somebody that's very popular and she said, your brand is you. People are watching you because of you. They're not saying, oh, Vanessa has a bright yellow color that I really like, so I'm gonna follow her. It has nothing to do with that. Will it help it pop on my thumbnails? I'm not using yellow, but would it help it pop? Sure, and maybe it looks eye appealing and it makes people click, but in the end, People don't stay because of a great thumbnail or a great title. They stay because they like you and they have made a connection with you. So in the end, you are the brand. So be yourself. And I know you get tired of hearing that, but people like you because of who you are. If you're funny and you like to, you know, during your YouTube videos and you're really good at, you know, your sarcasm or whatever, people like that, they're going to stick around. They're going to like that. Or maybe you just accidentally make silly mistakes and kind of know how to recover with grace, they're going to stick around. So pay attention to branding, but don't get hung up in it. Number three, we're going to talk about results. There are people that start their channel and they get really discouraged because they're not getting quick results. I'm going to share something with you. When I first started my channel, my goal every single day to was make a video. I'm not telling you that's the right way or the wrong way to do it. I um, learned that from another person that, that helped them uh, stay consistent. So I followed their same style, but I had eight subscribers by the end of my third month. I wanted to um, build my channel organically and I didn't know about, you know, a lot of things. I was brand new. 
what those three months did for me, it taught me how to get in front of the camera, how to get better and all these other things. It was like my training period, but I only had eight subscribers. I could have just shut down and said, I'm not doing this. You know, nobody's watching. Um, I suck. And maybe I did suck, but you know what? I kept going because I wanted to keep growing and I wanted to keep getting better. And I wasn't expecting quick results overnight and I'm still not I mean I'm still not at a million subscribers right there's a there's a long journey to get to those places but I want you to know that it takes hard work it takes consistency and you have to keep going all right so don't make the mistake of thinking that you're going to get quick results and you're going to get monetized overnight and make all this money can you make a lot of money absolutely but it takes time i i heard rich dad poor dad i i one of the books that really inspired me i'm getting off track here a little bit but bear with me i remember him saying in his book you have to be willing to work for free before you can appreciate working for money so you feel like that with youtube in the beginning you feel like you're working for free until you get monetized and then you start making money and the rewards are self-satisfaction and the fact that you're providing content for other people so you have to be willing to do that for free before you're going to get money. And if you're willing to do that, then you're the perfect person for this job. Number four, energy. Now I'm not jumping off the screen and jumping all around, right? I'm not like a cheerleader and having all that kind of energy. There's people that have it and they do great. They're in your face and they just get you motivated. That's great. What I mean by energy is, is I, what I mean by that is don't be boring. Don't have this low humdrum, uninteresting voice and, and act like you don't even really care what you're doing. Does that make sense? Make sure that your presentation and how you're talking, have confidence and have some energy and have a little bit of speed to it and make sure people are going to stick around because if you don't, people are going to turn you off. All right. So energy is your word for number four make sure it's a level that people are going to appreciate and you're not faking it you're being yourself but you're being your best self number five the word is edit people feel like they have to come in here and put all these fancy icons and things all over their their youtube video and i have been on some like that and it makes me want to I get nauseous. I don't want all that stuff popping up and back and forth. It takes an art to be able to know when to insert some things and when not to. So if you don't know how to do that with, with being and being appealing, then don't do it. Just use simple editing. And I've talked about this before. Get yourself an editing program. I use Camtasia. There's a link below. There's some new, some free ones out there. I don't know what they are because I use Camtasia, but on mine, you know, if I have a time that maybe I start to stutter or trip over my words, I can just keep talking, start all over from what I'm going to say, and then I can edit that out. I don't let that um, dead space stay in there and I try to edit out my mistakes and I keep it simple. So I, I do pop up some things here and there, but as you can see, it doesn't get overwhelming and I stick to the topic. So is it good to edit and add those things eventually? Absolutely. I, like I said, there's some really good videos out there and I really enjoy, they've added some B-rolls and, and different things. And um, sometimes they'll take you to their desktop and show you examples and all those things, but don't do it if you don't know how. Keep it simple, it's okay. It's the information that you're giving, not just visual, okay? All right, so let's go to number six, and I think this one is really important. I did not pay attention to this in the morning because in the beginning, but the audio. I used the microphone that was on my laptop when I first started, and then somebody shared with me very kindly that my audio was a little echoey. Now, I didn't think it was echoey because that's all I had, but I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and invest in a microphone. And at first I got one of those lavalier microphones where you just hook it to your shirt, um, it, they're like 40 bucks, maybe even cheaper now. I could use it when I used my iPhone. I could use it when I was on my laptop. Best investment I ever made. After a while, I went ahead and invested in one of those Yeti microphones. Took me forever. I did all this research, but I'm very, very satisfied. So both those links are below. Check them out. One's a little bit pricier, but I have both now and I'm very happy with that. And I've actually had people tell me, man, I like the quality of your audio. Good job. So make sure your audio is not echoing and you've got a good um, audio because people are listening to you and they're going to turn you off if, if it's if it's bad okay all right and the last one 
the last word that I want you to remember is copy. And you're like, copy what? Many times when you're starting out as a new YouTuber, you're spending a lot of time watching other people and that is a good thing. But there comes the time when you have to stop copying other people or watching them too much because then you have to start coming into your own, being who you are. You might pick up a little something from somebody over here, a little something else from somebody over here, and that's okay. Um, you take all those pieces of things that you like about what other people do, and then you do your own thing. I know I spent a lot of time looking at all the different descriptions that people had and how they were doing it. And, um, finally, after five or six different people, I kind of took something from each person and I made my own. So I really want you to start focusing on if you've already started your channel and you're already making videos, just start being yourself. And I know you keep hearing that, but I'm honestly, people can spot a fake and they can spot a copycat. And if you're being like somebody else, um, and, and they're very popular. Well, all the people that like that person are going to keep watching that person. They're not going to say, Oh, I like the way that Joe is copying John over here and I'm going to start watching him. No, you're just going to watch the person that did it in the first place. So don't spend too much time copying other people. Become yourself and, and give that to us on your YouTube video. So those are my seven tips, um, seven different mistakes that a lot of YouTubers make and I've made them all, I promise you. But hopefully that'll save you some time so that you don't make those same mistakes because we are going to love watching you. And if you're just getting started and you want other people, you want to share your channel, please feel free to share your channel below. Don't put spammy links below where you want people to go and, and, and see your business. I want you to sincerely give us the link to your channel or just say, Hey, check out my new channel and I'll go and I'll check them out myself. But we want to see what you're doing and we're going to leave some comments for each other so that we can spread the love and help each other out. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed the, this video. I hope you got something out of it and don't forget to subscribe. I will give you two, two videos a week sharing how to build your business online with affiliate marketing and using YouTube as your platform. And I'll see you on the next video. And again, thank you for watching.